Welcome to IPOB Rapture Media, IPOB Press Release, the 5th of June, 2024. President Tanubu's order for military to retaliate for murdered soldiers in Aba shows deep-seated hatred against Ndigbo, the noble family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by the great leader Mazi Nanamdi Okwukanu, condemned the order from the Nigerian president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to the Nigeria soldiers to kill IPOB members and be Afrans in retaliation to the slain soldiers in Abba Abia state. Through such a reckless order, the Nigerian president has given approval for another genocide against Ndigbo. Once again, we publicly declare that IPOB is not responsible for the attack and the killing of the soldiers in Abba. We have equally condemned the barbaric murder of the soldiers on the sacred day of Biafra Heroes Day. The hasty manner in which the Nigerian government and its murderous military pinned the killing of the soldiers on IPOB without any investigation shows that it was a premeditated plan to blackmail IPOB and Indigbo. It is obvious that the killing of the soldiers was sponsored to blackmail IPOB and perhaps used as an opportunity to scuttle the development strides being made in Abia State by their governor in Aba and around the state. IPOB demands open and independent investigation into the murder of the soldiers to fish out the real culprits. The statement credited to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu ordering the Nigeria military to invade Abia State to kill innocent IPOB members and to go after innocent people without setting up an investigation panel shows a deep-seated level of hatred and bigotry against Ndigbo. It is pathetic that a president of a country will encourage genocide of an ethnic group whom he has sworn an oath to protect. President Bola Tinubu has not hidden his hatred against Ndigbo. His government discontinued the case against Odudua Republic activist Sunday Igoho, dropped a case against Omoyele Soware, dropped charges against confirmed drug dealer and fraudster ASP Abakiari, and lastly has dropped charges against a confirmed Fulani Mieti Ala terrorist leader, Bello Badejo. President Tinubu dropped charges and freed Yorubas and Fulanis without publicising them, but have vehemently refused to release Mazinamdi Kanu, even after the appeal court has discharged and acquitted our leader. President Tinubu has encouraged the economic sabotage of Igbo businesses in Lagos State and Abuja since he assumed office. The latest order from President Tinubu to the Nigerian army to slaughter Ndigbo in retaliation in what could be likened to a state masterminded attack and assassination of soldiers at Aba is a ploy to distract attention from the illegal and unjust detention of Mazi Namdi Kanu. The Nigerian government doesn't want people to question the rationale behind the continuous detention of Mazi Namdi Kanu after discharging other similar high-profile cases in Nigeria. The hatred and hidden evil agenda against the East slash Indi Igbo by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and his APC government of Nigerian state has become very clear through what happened in Abba on the 30th of May, 2024, which is an orchestrated, designed and intended to create an avenue to slow down the progress of development in Abia State. We are informing the Abia State Governor to make sure there is an absolute vigilance over the power station, as it will be targeted for destruction to frustrate the influx of foreign investors and weaken the rapidity of development in Abia State. Gov Oti's achievement in just one year is a serious threat to the enemies of the East slash Indi Igbo, including other governors in the Eastern region, both past and present. It is, therefore, not a surprise that this scenario is unfolding. IPOB will not be deterred by the genocidal order from President Tinubu because we already know that Ndigbo is no longer wanted in Nigeria. We want President Tinubu to understand that no amount of blackmail or intimidation can change IPOB's resolve in pursuing self-determination and independence of Biafra nation from their hateful country, Nigeria. The past murderous Fulani governments of Buhari spent billions of dollars to blackmail and to try to destroy IPOB, but failed. The hatred and hidden evil agenda against the East slash Indi Igbo by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and his APC government of Nigerian has become very clear through what happened in Aba on the 30th of May 2024, which is an orchestrated intention to create an avenue to slow down the progress of development in Abia State. 
we are informing the Abia state governor to make sure there should be absolute vigilance over the power station as it will. It is, therefore, not a surprise that this scenario is unfolding from Tinubu's government. IPOB is not against Nigeria unity, but we want a negotiated disintegration that will only happen through a referendum. IPOB wants a referendum date for Biafrans to decide whether to stay in Nigeria or not. No amount of threat, sponsored killings or arrest can stop IPOB. How could the president dish out reckless order to known ethnic biased murderous soldiers to slaughter Ndigbo and IPOB for an uninvestigated killing of soldiers? President Tinubu has never issued such an order to the soldiers in the north where soldiers, police officers and the people are being decimated by the terrorists and bandits. As long as we in IPOB are concerned, we are innocent of the accusations against us by the Nigeria government and her murderous military. Since President Tinubu has openly called for a genocide against Ndigbo without any investigation, we wish to remind him that if Ndigbo were not annihilated during the Nigerian Genocidal War of 1967 to 1970, Buhari government didn't finish Ndigbo. He will also not annihilate Ndigbo. At the same time, President Tinubu can kill some IPOB members but can't kill millions of IPOB in Nigeria and in diaspora. IPOB has come to stay, and we must finish the Biafra project by the grace of Chukwu Okike Abiyama, God Almighty. Biafra must be free comrade Emma Powerful Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOB. Please don't forget to support the ESN at www.ipob.org.